Namaskar and a very good morning. Welcome to the audio cast from Kodak Security. I'm your host and guide and in the Banerjee. Last night Fed delivered a very hawkish monetary policy. Yes, it was expected to be hawkish, but the words he chose, I'm talking about the Fed chair, was very carefully crafted to convey the uh, seriousness of the central bank. Let me quote a couple of lines which he mentioned. He said, uh, "No one knows whether this process will lead to a recession or if so, how significant that recession would be nonetheless we are committed to getting inflation back down to 2 uh, 2% current inflation is hovering well above 8% so it cannot get clear than this that the fed is saying that we are willing to take the risk of the economy slipping into recession but our priority is to get inflation down to our target level so this is folks this is a very hawkish fed extremely hawkish fed we will use the word extremely hawkish fed so the dollar is in very strong hands now the dollar index has two major bullish forces at play one is of course the monetary policy divergence growth divergence between america and europe and china because if you look at the uh, and even japan too because if you look at the constituents of the US dollar index it's basically japanese yen and the host of european currencies so there is a clear cut divergence in play which is supporting the dollar second factor in the world is facing an energy crisis specifically the west there if you look at uh the dollar that is basically america is now energy secured because they are an uh, energy surplus nation they are exporting uh, energy whereas if you look at europe and japan and uh, uk they are in energy deficit so they are at the receiving end in this war so of course this uh, energy play is also very supportive for the dollar index so one the monetary policy divergence and uh, growth divergence two the energy uh play which is um, which is uh, uh a big thing now because of the russian uh, and and the uh, ukraine war so the dollar index can continue to move higher which means that dollar rupee can also be pulled up reluctantly ye sahi hai ki oil prices are lower and that's going to be supportive for the indian rupee but to expect that indian rupee will chalk a path which is totally different from other currencies that is not right so indian rupee is going to depreciate further against the us dollar but the pace of depreciation will be slower because as i said fpi flows are still positive oil prices are lower and rbi intervention is expected to be there so 802526 a new all time is where the usd and our offshore is trading which means we could see some stops getting hit at the open uh, of course some of these uh, short traders would have taken uh, cover uh, overnight considering such a high profile even through options uh, etc but some stops will get hit uh, which means we could see a flare up now technically there are no resistance levels before 81 and 81 is not a resistance it's more of a psychological level and considering the price action of the range of 79 and uh, 80 for the past 2 uh, months or so it is uh, a natural target for the market that it can hit to 81 or even higher levels but again this is not a market which is freely traded rbi plays a huge role so rbi intervention will be there along the way but as long as the dollar index continues to grind higher which it looks it will uh, barring those smaller corrections dollar rupee will also drift up but at a slower pace now uh, for the day or two buying on dips is advisable because 80 has been a, f- a formidable resistance and now it's going to be a support on the futures uh, september futures so buy on dips is ad- uh, advisable with a stop below 7990 on a closing basis you, uh, you can use Uh, options as well to express the view uh, for example call longs or uh, call spreads we would uh, if at all you want you can even short uh, otm puts because the uh, implied volatility is going to be rich so these are the ways you can express the view um right now for the for the day we would not uh, advise shorting a, a straddle or a strangle or even iron fly because we need to see the, the because the market is just uh or is is going to break a range of 2 months so let this um, uh, market make a run and then 
we can think of, of shorting the options and uh, play for a range. In uh, cross currency, euro and our GPNR and GPNR three currencies will be under pressure, and uh, we can see more selling uh, over there. Bank of Japan uh, kept the monetary policy unchanged, so yen and our can see more selling. So we are bearish. We continue to be bearish on euro and our GPNR and GPNR. So that's it, folks. This is Anand Banerjee signing off. A fantastic day.